Hello friends and welcome to Turtle Queen Gaming and back to Nicole. What I've decided to do is Darren's ending. Um, what I did was I obviously went through all of the stuff that we've already seen. I gave him a few of the gifts that I knew that he liked so that I could unlock because you only get so far with just the right answers on the playthrough and you have to give them gifts in order to unlock the romance endings like you can't that you can't unlock any more scenes without unlocking more uh chemistry or whatever with them so um i figured that i just go i'm going to do darren's ending this time then i'm going to do i can't remember his name oh my god i'm terrible Jake? Jake. Jake. Madri. Uh, we're gonna do Darren, then we're gonna do Madri, and then we're gonna do Jeff, because I figured we'd save the bad guy for last, just to see what we're in, in what weird universe dating the bad guy who kidnaps girls is a good idea. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm just gonna read through all of the uh, scenes with Darren. That way you guys don't have to watch me go clickety 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 and just basically spam the volunteer job and looking for clues. Cause, I mean, really, I, you know what I'm doing. You're, I'm raising amity for Darren. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Darren. Texting and running probably isn't the safest idea, but I'm late. Seriously late. Oh man, if I wasn't meeting up with Darren, I'd probably be in so much trouble. The funny thing is, is that it wasn't my idea this time. Darren was the one who asked me if I wanted to hang out. That, like, has never happened before. My phone gives a little ring-ring rumble in my hand, and I look down to check if Darren texts me back. Yeah, it's him. Don't worry too much about it. I am still here. Thanks. I'll be there in five. I intend to keep to that, too, and I begin to hurry. The sidewalk is full enough that I blend in with the crowd, but still empty enough that I'm not bulldozing anyone down as I hurry to our intended meeting spot right near the football field. Darren is sitting at a bench, backpack on his lap. The curls of his bangs fall over the upper rim of his eyeglass lens, and they sway as he looks up to the sound of my footsteps. I give him a tired wave and an exaggerated exhale. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> I plop down next to Darren and drop my bag next to me. I lean back, arching over the back of the bench to stretch out my weary muscles. Darren humors me with a small smile and pockets his phone to his backpack. As I can see, it is fine if you lost track of time. I know much how, or know how much effort you place in your studies. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know me. <laughs> okay, for real, it was more like I lost track of time scrolling down Tumblr, or Roller. Tumblr. Roller. <laughs> But I was studying when he asked me if I wanted to hang out. It was the truth. At the time. I look over my shoulder as I hear the sound of angry boys in full body contact. The sights are blocked by the fence, but I can spot specks of white and navy uniforms through the gaps between the chain links. I'm used to the sound. I come here when I meet Kurt. Kurt. His name is Kurt. For tutoring sessions. Mostly against my will, since the doofus is too lazy to haul his butt over from s or to somewhere close to my classes. Ah, nothing beats the sound of cracking rib in the afternoon. You get accustomed to it after the first several times. <laughs> I bet. Do you usually hang out here while Kurt set has practice? Darren timidly nods. I usually do not have a better use of my time. The school's wireless connection reaches this far, so it isn't difficult to complete assignments or rouse roller in my spare time. And when Kurt is finished, we go to dinner. No offense, but that's totally boring. Except the dinner part. Sounds like you have, or you two have your share of hot dates. Please do not let him overhear you say that. No worries, I won't, I promise. I bet he'd ask if I was into that kind of thing anyway. Like, ew. I groan at the thought. It's really sad that I know Kurt well enough to reach this level of accuracy. Are you into that kind of thing? <laughs> Darren! If I had a drink, I would have spit it out. I turn to Darren, blushing, and I shake my head vigorously. No, God, I'm not that kind of girl, really! Man, that's- I sound way too defensive here. 
However, I stop panicking as I hear Darren laugh lightly under his breath. W what's so funny? Your reaction. Twas only a joke. I guess this is where I say looks like the shoe is on the other foot. I think back to all the times I joked around with him and my blush intensifies as I realize he's right. Darren is the one playing a joke on me now. Alright, I get it already. Stop laughing at me. My apologies. I, I'll do myself... Uh, I'll do best to calm myself. That being said, he struggles to mask his laughter. Hmm. <laughs> This is so embarrassing, but it's nice to see that he's coming out of his shell. Lately, I've noticed that when Darren actually talks normally and isn't holding back, it's easy to see where Voex comes from. Just get him going and BAM! Here's the smart, witty, and insightful guy who always has something to say. You know, when he actually can say it. After way too long, Darren calms himself down and he casts me an apologetic glance, which I accept with good nature shrug of my shoulders. Sure you're done? Have any other jokes you'd like to make at my expense? If I think of any, you'll be the first to know. We both laugh at this one. It's like how our conversations tend to go online. Hey, since we're here with nothing better to do, let's go spy on the football team. Why spy? Darren points past my shoulder at the wired fence surrounding the field, showing me the open gate. I see people go inside all the time. As long as we do not disrupt the practice, the coach shouldn't have any objections to us sitting on the bleachers. Oh, good point. Why do you never do that? I just feel like people might find it strange if I'm sitting watching the football practices by myself. I lean in and grin mischievously. Sounds like someone's parent scared people will get the wrong idea. And you keep insisting that you aren't into that kind of thing. <laughs> Not missing a beat, Darren gives me the smallest of smirks as he rises from the bench. I can only sit and gape like an idiot before realizing I should probably follow. I told you that I'm not, Darren, I swear! Yeah, definitely being too defensive here. The shouts and cries I could hear from off the field are louder as Darren and I, and I enter the head and head toward the bleachers. I take a look at the guys on the field and they're currently in the middle of running some kind of play. I watched someone throw the ball, and it whizzes through the air like a bullet. One of the players is already darting out to intercept it. Is that who I think it is? I check his jersey. Number 9. Yep, it's Kurt. Since he's the quarterback, this must be the kind of trick pl or some kind of trick play. Huh, the things you pick up when you tutor a football star. Wow, Kurt is certainly on point today. He sounds impressed, and I don't blame him. Kurt may not be a smarty pants, but he's seriously good on the field. I, he catches the football no problem and is off sprinting towards the goal at breakneck speed. Even the coach looks pleased, and I've heard that he rarely smiles. Well, if I'm to believe Kurt, which sounds like a bad idea already, but eh. Darren and I climb up the bleachers as Kurt jogs his way back to the center field, arms raised over his head proudly. You know, I've never, or I've actually never watched our team practice before. I should give Kurt way more credit. Darren looks at me as we take a seat. We pick one of the rows in the middle of the bleachers. Ah. Oh. There we go. Not too high, not too low. Perfect for viewing all the action. But you told me that you met Kurt here to tutor him after- Oh, no, it is meet. Okay, but you told me that you meet Kurt here to tutor him after practice. That doesn't mean I have to sit through the whole thing. Yuck. I'm trying to come around at the time, or the time when it ends. Hey, I have an idea. I shrug my shoulders, or shoulder bag off onto the bleachers and take out my cell phone. Let's take a picture here. It'll be fun. Darren slides away so fast that there's a harsh, harsh screeching noise left in his wake. I wince at the sound, and when I look up at his face, he's wide-eyed and leaning away. No! <laughs> he doesn't like pictures! It's nearly a scream in terror. I balk for a moment, unsure of what to say. You don't want to? No, sorry, I don't want to take a picture. Why not? Because, knowing you, you'll be putting the picture on your blog, will you not? Sorry, I didn't mean for that to be said in such an Oh, sorry. I didn't mean for that to be said in such an accusatory way. It's only that I do not want any pictures of myself on Roller. Not even- I do not even mention my real name on Roller. You've always been really low-key on your blog, but don't you think it'd be fine to post at least one picture of yourself? It'd let people know who you are. That's exactly what I want to prevent. 
Darren looks away from me and out to, and out to the football pit. <sighs> Darren looks away from me and out at the football players in the middle of practice. There's a very pensive, faraway look on his face, as though he's recalling something from his past. I'm not like Kurt. Yeah, thank God. No, no, I mean... Kurt is the type of person where what you see is what you get. He doesn't pretend to be something he's not, and he isn't the type of to hold himself back, for better or for worse, as you are well aware of. But I'm different. People read my blog. They imagine Voix is a certain type of person, and they if, if they ever found out it was me who was on the other side of the screen, they'd be disappointed. I'm nothing like him. <sighs> Just assuming that you disappoint people. I don't want to break the perception of who Voix really is. It's better if he maintains some sort of mystery to his persona. A moment passes as I let everything Darren said sink in. He's always been this secluded kind of person, but I never thought it'd be because of this. He thinks he'd disappoint people for being the way he is? That's not fair to yourself. Darren turns to me as if awaiting a response. Oh man, I should really say something right about now. You know what I- you want to know what I think? And save. Boop. I can see where you're coming from. People are such jerks. People are jerks, but you know what? That's pretty silly. You know why it's silly? Because if- The reason that he's putting himself out into this blog is to get himself out there. He's not- acting a certain way on the blog. He's not pretending to be anybody he's not. He's just not showing himself as, like, himself himself. The shy guy that has a hard time talking to people. He has an easier time talking online. That doesn't make him any different as a person, online or offline. Silly. I think that's pretty silly. What other people think will always be a little important, but it isn't everything. Besides, how do you know how they'll react if you haven't done anything yet? Besides... I mean, caring about what people think, yes, it's important just because you shouldn't- you have- What you should do when you care about what other people think is if you're going to hurt them. Like, really hurt them. Like, upset them in a way that messes with their life. It's not going to shatter anybody's life knowing that Voix is actually a shy nerd. Oh no. You're also forgetting one thing. I wink and raise a finger. I know all about you and I still think you're one of the coolest bloggers on Roller. Darren studies me as if searching for any sign of insincerity, but I'm being totally honest here. Don't worry about being a disappointment or whatever, Darren. You're gonna miss out if you hold yourself back like that. Perhaps. He sounds non-committal, but hey, at least he's considering it. Consider it had a small victory. Quite honestly, though, someone like you wouldn't understand, if you'll allow me to say so. Okay, what does that mean? I place my hands on my hips and frown at him, expressing as much disapproval as humanly possible. Well, <laughs> I suppose what I'm trying to say is... Darren hesitates to continue, and his face lights up red. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ignore me, please. No, that, that is such an obvious lie. But before I have a chance to shake it out of him, Darren is on his feet with his hand extended. You wish to take a picture, correct? I can do so, if you don't mind. I completely forget about that. I give Darren a shake of my head. Nah, I don't want to anymore. I can't think of anything funny I could put as a caption of a picture at a football field. It's the truth, but honestly, I'm just not in the mood for a picture anymore. I feel bad. I knew that Darren was shy, but I had no idea that he considered himself a potential disappointment to all his fans. Darren retakes his seat, and we start talking about various things. Starting, of course, with class, and moving on to various other happenings around campus. We don't talk about Darren's blog again, let alone taking a picture for it. At least, I don't say anything about it. By the by, like, I'm friends with Low Budget Man? Well, the actor that plays Low Budget Man. He is way too concerned with what people think. Like, when he's thinking of casting, when he's thinking of filming. I mean, I, it's okay to, like, care about what your audience wants. 
But I mean, I it, it will take him. It, it kills him if he can't do something, and it's just. He needs to relax. He needs to have... The whole point of him starting this was because he wanted to enjoy himself. He needs to relax, have fun, and just be low-budget, man. He doesn't watch my shit, so... He won't hear anything of that. <laughs> However, the thought remains there in the back of my mind, nagging me. Come on, Nicole, there has to be something you can do to help. I hear the football coach blow a final tweet of his whistle, and then look out to see the guys in the football team break out information and relax. Some str straggle behind as they all head back to the locker room, laughing and chatting amongst themselves. I think they must be done for the day. They do tend to end around this time. It should only take Kurt about 15 minutes to change out of his uniform afterwards. I give him a funny look, and he shrinks in his seat. I told you, I usually wait for him after practice. After a while, you tend to resort um, to the mundane for entertainment. Like timing how fast your friends change clothes? It's not the most glamorous job, but someone has to do it. I laugh against my better judgment, and Darren takes that as a small victory for him. His backpack gives off a chime and a little rumble, and he quickly reaches into the smallest pocket for his phone. Oh, Kurt wants me to meet him at our usual spot. He's, and I quote, Really starved, so I need to move my ass ASAP. <laughs> what a friend! Only the best! Darren pockets his phone into his jeans, then shrugs his backpack back on. Um, Nicole? I wanted to say thanks. He chuckles awkwardly. It's always lonely waiting by yourself. It was nice to have someone to pass the time with. No problem, Darren. It wasn't like I was doing anything that important. I was so nervous, though. This is the first time I've contacted someone other than Kurt, and I didn't want to impose. <laughs> anyway, I should go. I don't want to make Kurt mad. Will you be fine on your own? I wave his concerns off with a confident hand. Totes, I'll be fine. Get going if you don't want that muzzlehead coming after you. Right. Take care, Nicole. See you in class. He nods at me once before hurrying on his way to the bleachers. I wave him goodbye until Darren is far enough that he can't see me anymore. Now, he said the school Wi-Fi reaches this far, right? I take out my phone out or take my phone out of my bag and check my wireless settings. Score! Darren was right. It's a few bars down, but I can definitely log into the school network from here. I do so and then click on my roller app. Better save my data plan for when I really need it. I got to think or thinking while Darren talking I got to thinking while talking to Darren. If he doesn't think people will like him if they got to know him, then I have to prove him wrong. And the only way that I can do that is through an IRL meet. An IRL meet is basically an in real life meet. It's when people on Roller go to meet up with their friends offline. I have a few other Roller friends in the area, and we have been making plans to meet up one of these days. Why not now? And this way I can get Darren even more friends! And petrify him! For life. <laughs> I tell myself it's foolproof as I start up a message. I want it to be a surprise, which means I can't post about it on my blog. Unfortunately, Darren might see it. Thankfully, I have this cool friend on Roller. Her username is shutdown03, but her real name's Kate. We've met a few times offline too, and she's so fun. She's on her school's volleyball team, another athlete type. Okay, I know I should be texting you instead, but you never check your phone. Remember how we were talking about forming an IRL meet sometime soon? Uh, let's do it this weekend. Come on, it'll be fun. I send the message and stand up to head back to my dorm room. I guess as far as the field gate before our, I get as far as the field gate before I feel my phone vibrate in my pocket. I'm trying to read too like my brain's reading it too fast for me to actually say what I'm trying to say. It's from Kate and I read it out loud to myself. I'm not that bad with my phone. IRL meet sounds hella fun. Let's do it. I grin to myself as I read her text. If Kate's helping me, this meetup is sure to be a success. Oh man, that'll show Darren he not to be such a worrywart. I text Kate back as I continue walking, bouncing back ideas about time, places, and who else to invite. I've mentioned Darren's username once or twice to her, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I invited him. I think she, or she even mentioned wanting to meet him. With all the pieces coming together, I can't help but feel optimistic. I giggle to myself happily as I pace my pace speeds up to a brisk skip. Everything's going great. I'm we're going to go great. I just know it. I mean, 
<laughs> Good intentions, right? Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. Until. Hmm. I think we have time. I'm gonna skip ahead to the next scene. Oh! I think that we've, uh, shown most everything that Darren likes, right? Well, apparently, also, it's these fuzzy socks. I don't know why I'd buy him fuzzy socks, but I'm going to. Hey, Darren, looky here what I got you. I hand him a pair of maroon socks. Those weren't maroon. <laughs> My bad. I know socks are a lame gift, but these are so comfy and cool that I think it makes up for it. Wow, what material is this made of? No clue! Don't they feel so snuggy, though? Darren sighs under his breath, but he smiles regardless. Indeed, they do. Thank you, Nicole. One can never have enough socks. Socks. Socks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. What on earth is happening? Okay. <laughs> I think I found the next scene. <laughs> is he blindfolded? You're gonna give him a panic attack! Can you please tell me where we are going? It must look weird. I'm literally dragging Darren by the hand down one of the school sidewalks. We're moving kind of fast. Not so much for me, but every time I hear Darren trip over his feet, I remember that he's not the most athletic person I know. It doesn't help that he has a red bandana over his eyes. Why? It's only because I want this to be a surprise. What's the surprise, you may ask? Well, today is the day of the IRL meet. I have no idea what my friend likes. Kate is already at the meeting place, waiting with a few others from Roller. We managed to scrounge up. The only one missing is our guest of honor, the one and only Boix. See, I mean, it's... I love that she's trying. I mean, and she's really trying. And it is, like, the push might be just what he needs, but at the same time... Let me just turn my phone down while I'm thinking about it. Uh, at the same time, pushing him may, like, cause him to have a mental breakdown. If he's really, like, afraid of people, it might be not be a good thing. Except he doesn't know that yet. Honestly, I'm a little scared of what Jer Darren's reaction will be. He'll either freak out or he'll major- he'll either freak out or he'll majorly freak out. But I've got my fingers crossed for the for, for the former. <laughs> well, okay, I lied. She does know. <laughs> this will be good for him. I know it will. Everyone's going to be super nice. He'll see. And then he'll stop worrying whether no one will like him or not. And it'll all be thanks to me. <laughs> oh, Nicole. I thought, or the thought of that is really exciting. Helping Darren would just be the best, but speaking of him, we're almost there, I promise. I hope he hasn't been paying attention to the directions. He'd realize that I've led him from campus all the way to the nearby park. It's really nice out here. The changing seasons have had almost no effect on the lush grass beside the dash of red leaves around here and there. There are a few ducks quacking in the park, lake, as I finally stop and turn to face Darren. All right. Red, are we in the nearby park? <laughs> Stop being so smart! I feel my expression drop as Darren guesses it. How the heck did he do that? How did you know? I pout as I reach over and undo the blindfold from Darren's face. He blinks a few times to orient the light, or his eyes to the light, and then pulls his glasses from his coat pocket to place them back on his face. The sounds. The ducks were a dead giveaway, I'm afraid. Wait a minute. I'm getting deja vu. Have I read this before? I can't remember. Weird. Those feathered fiends. A blight upon secret surprises everywhere. Aha, but you don't know the true surprise. Darren raises a brow and looks around the park amusedly and should try to spot what I've cooked up for him. And that would happen to be... My smile waves a bit, but I force it steady. I got some people from Roller together for an IRL meet. They're waiting for us in, here in the park right now. 
Any hope that Darren might possibly take this news well is dashed when I see him do his deer in the headlights impression again. Nicole? What? It'll be fine, Darren. Don't freak out. No. I... No, I'm going back to school. The sirens? I hope nobody's hurt. Uh, he turns about face and starts to march out of the park, but I run in front of him before he has the chance to do so and or, and throw my arms out wide to block him. Look, I know you're running away because you're totally scared, but this will prove that there's no reason to be. You're going to meet up with some other roller people, have some fun, maybe make a few more followers. It'll be awesome. I think you're being unreasonably optimistic here. I am, but shh, shut up, Darren. <laughs> shut up, I am not. Come on, can you tr try for a little bit? They're expecting you there. At least show up. I press my hands together and bring them to the base of my chin. Please, I'm not asking you to suffer if you think you're going to be a or going to absolutely hate it. And no one will make you take a picture if you don't want to. Do you mean that? No pictures? I can't promise no pictures entirely. Like, I totally want to take some pictures with Kane and the others, but if you want to keep out of them, I'll make sure to spread the word. This seems to be enough to convince Darren <laughs> that attending the IRL meet is a good idea. His toes in the ground are... Yeah, he toes the ground as he starts to think, and it's after a few anxious minutes that I receive an answer. Very well. I'm so happy that I nearly throw my hands in the air. You mean it? Yes, I'll attend, but only for as long as I feel comfortable doing so. Usually any social or with any social engagement, I have at least a half hour to mentally prepare myself for it. I thought you told me that you'd normally do that sort of thing, or that you don't normally do that sort of thing. True, but my point still stands. Just give me a moment, please. I nod and step away for a moment to give Darren some space. He moves to the lake's edge, and I see him place his hands on his stomach as he prepares to take a few deep breaths. His chest goes in and out, in and out... And once he's finished, he returns to where I'm standing and gives me an affirmative nod. <laughs> People. It's okay. People won't hurt you. <laughs> I am ready. Great. Let's get going. Darren seems to calm himself down as we start to walk, though it's only by a little bit. What are the usernames of the people we're about to meet? Oh, there's Shutdown03. She goes to school with us, too. She's really nice. You'd like her. Mm, for the others, they're from other schools in the area. I do my best to list their usernames off precisely. There's not that many aside from Kate, just like three. Ah, okay, I'm not acquainted with any of those blogs, and I don't recall be ever being messaged by them. This will be a good chance to get to know them. I only know Kate, so I'll be doing the same thing. Well, I'm sure it'll be much easier for you. Hey, don't say that kind of stuff. But honestly, I can't deny it. It's like I can feel the ground underneath him shaking from his nerves, and it only gets worse once we spot Kate and the others sitting underneath one of the gazebos in the middle of the park. Damn! Underneath the pointy blue roof, it's easy to spot Kate with her long black hair and athletic figure. The girl's not just lean, but she's got some muscle. You can never see it from as far- or you can even see it from as far as Darren and I are. There's another girl and two more guys joining Kate, but I'm sure Darren, uh, it, uh, I'm sure to Darren, it might as well be a whole stadium full of people sitting in that gaz tiny gazebo. Relax, it'll be fine. Don't psych yourself out. Darren just nods, obviously stuck in his own little happy place to try to settle his emotions. It makes me feel super guilty since I'm the one who dragged him into this mess in the first place. God, now I'm calling it a mess. No, I have to be positive. This is going to work out. All right, I'm fired up. I figure there's no more reason to postpone it, so I raise my hand to wave to get the group's attention. Hi, you guys! The party has just arrived. Heads turn as I announce our arrival. There's a scattering of amused laughter as Kate just sneers at us. There you are, Nikki. I've been wondering where the hell you were when the hell you're gonna show up. <laughs> my bad. I was busy getting this guy to come with. I just read Darren's beside me, uh, signaling for him to introduce himself. Hello there. Ugh, he's so stiff. It reminds me of when we first met. And that was pretty awkward. The same goes for now. I can see the others looking at each other with questioning glances. So, uh... <laughs> now that we're all here, why not introduce ourselves properly? I'll go first. I'm Nicole, and my username on Roller is Hurta Couture. I 
still don't know how to say that correctly. My last name's Brave, so yeah, I thought it'd be fun to play with the finish. I think the only one who gets that is Darren, and he gives me a small smile from the corner of his lips. I can take that as a good sign, right? I mean, he managed to smile before he would uh, be too busy trying not to panic. The others go around introducing themselves in the same way. Kate's na username comes from her team number on the volleyball team. The other guy based his off of a television series he really likes. Stuff like that. And finally, it's Darren's turn to introduce himself. I clench my teeth nervously as I watch him take a deep breath and start talking. Um, so I'm Darren, and my username on Roller is Voix. Wait, you mean like THE Voix? The famous one on Roller? Yes, that happens to be me. Holy crap, and we're meeting someone like you in the flesh? Oh, <laughs> I don't think of as- or I don't think as though it should be some great honor. I am but me. Do not feel as though you should give me some special treatment. The others begin to chatter amongst themselves, drawing Darren- or drawing Darren in with a barrage of questions. It's nice to see that he's being included. I would have felt bad if he was right and everyone ignored him. Huh, ain't he modest? I grin as Kate leans in to whisper in my ear. Yeah, that's Darren for you. So is he some kind of roller famous guy? I don't keep up with that stuff. Hell if I know. Okay, the things I must teach you. Don't worry about him being all roller famous. Just treat him like Darren and it should be okay. Please, like I'd give someone special treatment without them earning it. That's so like her, I swear. As the IRL meet continues and everyone gets to know each other, it becomes more, way more fun. It's not like we just sit around and talk about Roller. We talk about the city, school, you know, normal college student things. The one, only problem is that after the first surge of questions, Darren went back to being his quiet self. He answers any questions directed at him, but otherwise, nada. He doesn't talk. It worries me a little. No, he's... He has to, like, osmosis himself into the situation. Just let him sit there and absorb everything that's going on. I can tell he's still a little shaken over being thrust into the situation so suddenly. I mean, we've been friends for a while, and it's only natural I noticed these things, but despite that, I think it's fine. Kate's nice, and the others are too, so there shouldn't be anything to worry about. In an hour, uh, an hour in, I noticed Darren getting up from his seat. Something up? Oh, no, just a phone call. I forgot that my mother needed to discuss something with me. Don't let us keep you. Go ahead. It'll only take but a moment. Darren steps out of the gazebo, and I watch as he continues for a few feet before stopping to place his phone to his ear. Yeah, he definitely looks more relaxed now. So, is that boy really Voix? I freeze as I hear Darren's username mentioned. Turning, I see one of the guys sitting there with a skeptical look, skeptical look on his face. Mm. I don't know if I buy it. I've read some of Voix's stuff, and the guy claiming to be him could not have said that. What do you mean? I think he's well-spoken enough to match. Yeah, but I was imagining someone different. No. No, 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 no! He did not just say that! This can't be happening right now! The whole reason Darren avoids meeting people from Roller is to avoid comments like that! I have to do something. I can't let him overhear this. Raise some hell. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's definitely not raise some hell because that'll draw attention back to it. But <laughs> let's be civil. Hey, guys, it's not nice to talk about someone when they're not here. Hooray. I'm ready to snap at them right now, but getting worked up won't do any good. It'd just be an overreaction and I'd end up looking like the bad guy. It's not like we're gossiping. I'm only pointing out the obvious. Ugh, it doesn't matter. You haven't gotten to know Darren yet, so save your judgments until after you do. I kind of agree with him, though. The girl next to him speaks up tentatively, possibly intimidated by how defenses I am being in Darren's stead. When I read Boex's blog, I imagine that he'd be livelier and a little sophisticated. Darren's really quiet. Sometimes I have a hard time hearing him. He just has trouble talking sometimes. He's better at typing and text. But that isn't something you expect from Boex, of all people. How would you know? How the hell do you know what to expect from Boex? You don't know him! You People are different online than they are offline. Like, I'm normally really shy about getting into different situations, but I, uh, when I get into games, I really, like, 
Per- I really like interacting with people. I don't know. People are awful. Oh, great. Now this guy's agreeing with them. The only one who hasn't spoken up is Kate, even though she looks re- ready to back me up. I bet some part of her agrees with what they're saying. Look, we're not saying he's a bad person. He's just not what I was expecting. The worst part is that I can't disagree with what he's saying. I remember back when I first met Darren, and I thought the exact same thing. Still, I've had it. I make him give him a... Or, I'll make them give him a chance, even if I have to force them. Maybe Darren isn't what you expect when you think of Voex, and he is super quiet, for sure. But despite that, you can tell that he is Voex way, way deep down. He's super smart, and he's nice, and he's funny too, even, if I don't get half of his jokes. He always has something to say about anything if you give him the chance. Um, he's well-spoken, and he's, or he's great at advice, and, um, he has a really refined taste in ice cream, (laughs) alright? So the last one was a stretch, but I couldn't think of anything else. They're looking at me in shock, but I and I smugly think that I may or that maybe my outburst got through to them. However, when I check check Kate's expression, I realize something else. They're not looking at me; they're looking past me. Oops. I turn around, and my greatest fear comes true. Darren's standing there. He must have heard everything I said. It doesn't take a genius to guess why I was spouting all those good qualities. I could think about him. He's frozen in place, his open mouth like an upside down crescent moon. His his eyes dart around to all are taking all the expressions at one at a time before he clears his throat, a fist held to his mouth. Uh oh, please excuse me for a moment. He turns around and is off to the gaze- or from the gazebo before I can stop him. Darren, wait But he's too far gone to hear me. What should I do? Is it better to just leave him alone for now? I'm pretty sure I should go after him. I'm sorry, Darren. Even if you need some time alone, I can't give you the chance to blame yourself for everything. I turn to look at Kate imploringly, and she already seems to know what's going through my mind. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I can handle everything. Thanks. I'll try to get him to come back. I hurry out of the gazebo and head down toward the direction I saw Darren take before. It takes a few minutes of jogging to find him, but I eventually see him near the lake. He's squatting down at the water's edge, hugging his knees as he watches a few ducks paddle in the circles. I take a moment to gather my breath before I approach him. Darren! He jolts in my direction and looks away, appearing wounded. Are you, uh, are you okay? Not entirely, but I was expecting this to happen. No! <laughs> yeah, I know. I sigh and plop down into the grass next to him. That escalated quickly. Indeed. One moment I'm taking a phone call, the next I come back to see you standing on the soapbox, as it were. They were saying dumb stuff. He isn't what I pictured him to be, something along those lines. More like exactly that. Like I said, I expected it. It's what happened before. Before? You mean this isn't your first IRL meet? My voice grows so loud that I startle the ducks, and I grin apologetically at them before turning back to Darren. It was back in high school, just last year. It wasn't anything large, it was only a single friend who was in the area for a few days. We set up a date to meet, a schedule, a spoke of how much fun it could potentially be, then when the day came it turned out to be nothing like that. That chemistry we seemed to share online was nowhere to be found when we started interacting offline. I never blamed him. I mean, I don't think he acted too differently from how he did on Roller. Me, on the other hand, well, we know how I am. I can barely keep up a conversation when meeting someone for the first time. I must have bored him, put him at uh, at unease, whatever you wish to call it. All I know is that I wasn't able to live up to the whole who he thought Voix was, and our friendship suffered as a result. We were still friends, yes, but we were never as close. Hey, you can't keep talking or taking out the blame like that. I suppose you're right. I want to thank you, though, Nicole, for what you said in my defense. Hooray! I mean it, Darren. You're a terrific friend, and they're going to judge you. Or if they're going to judge you based on one meeting, then screw them. Darren laughs a little at my sincerity, and it makes me grin. I know I can't make him feel completely better, but I want to do what I can for him. 
Is it okay if I went back to school? I'm not in the mood to go back and face them all now. Oh, oh yeah, it's fine. Totally fine. In fact, I jump to my feet and extend a hand. I'll go with you. Kate should be fine on her own, and I'm not feeling up to it either. Uh, are you sure? I wouldn't want to stop you from enjoying yourself for my sake. Trust me, it's a-okay. Now come on. I wiggle my fingers impatiently. Darren gives me a skeptical kind of look, at, like he doesn't fully believe me, but he places his hand in mine anyway. My heart beats a bit faster as I close my fingers around him, his and help him to his feet. Once he's upright, he hastily breaks off and takes a step back. Thank you. Again. I clasp my hand behind my back and shrug modestly. Don't mention it. I have to admit, it was nice to hold his hand for a little. I don't think we've ever been that close before. My cheeks go a little red at the thought, and I turn around to hide my face. Alright, let's get this over with. When we return to the gazebo, the atmosphere is thick with tension. The others look like they don't know what to say. It's Kate that finally breaks it. Welcome back. You feeling better? Well, she's as blunt as always. Actually, Darren's worn out, so I'm going to take him back to school. We just came by to say him, or back to say goodbye to everyone. No problem if you're tired. It was nice to meet you, Darren. Oh, if you're going, hold on. Um, the girl fidgets in her seat. We want to apologize for the stuff we said about you, Darren. It wasn't nice of us to judge you like that. Yeah, sorry about that, man. It was out of line. Uh, Darren looks like he wasn't expecting this. I accept your apology. There's a collective sigh of relief all around. Thanks, we would have felt awful if you went home without us saying anything. You can always message me on Roller if you'd like. I enjoy talking to people on there, so feel free. I'll be going now. Darren gives a small wave of his hand, and I see Kate nudge her head imploringly after him as he leaves. Fine, fine, I get the hint. That's my cue. It was nice to meet you guys. We totally have to do this again. They all agree, and I take off after Darren, eventually reaching his side as so that we're walking in step. Okay, so... I know this might not be the best time to approach this topic, but... Besides from that one incident, you didn't completely hate it, right? Not at all. It was nice. I laugh and grin happily that my plan wasn't a complete failure. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Yay! Adorable. Okay. Oh, gee. There we go. Uh, I think that that's enough for today, and I will continue with Darren's ending. I'm pretty sure, I mean, look at that amity. <laughs> I am pretty darn sure that I can make uh, the amount that I need. Hard time thinking of words. Uh, by the time that the endings come. I mean, I got a month. I literally, literally have a month. <laughs> And so we'll be able to see the special ending and the, uh, uh, well, the normal ending and the special ending where we confront Jeff. Which is really interesting because Darren doesn't actually know Jeff. I mean, it was interesting with Ted because Ted knew Jeff from wherever the hell he knew him. We still don't know that. <laughs> so we'll continue with Darren's special ending next time. So until next time, peace out, y'all.